our friend John Krasinski over at The Athletic wrote, why Anthony Edwards will leave Minnesota discourse is bad for NBA business. And I recommend, number one, go read that. Uh, John Krasinski is one of the best reporters that we have. Uh, and it may be in basketball, definitely in basketball. But also, I agree. It's bad for business. Listen, the Minnesota Timberwolves are a team that are just now finding success after years of failure. They got a new ownership group. And for whatever reason... Another small market team has a star that they drafted and who has developed with them. And the big stories are, oh, well, where is he going to play next? We already got the photoshops coming out. And not just that, you know, Michael Jordan and Anthony Edwards are basically the same guy. Uh, but, man, the photoshops have already started. His Team USA run is inspiring people to draft him to their team in free agency, which – He's got years to go. <laughs> Six so years. I, I don't even <laughs> understand how we got here. Um, you know, Seth, I guess well, it's bad for business. It's just bad for business. We want every team needs a star, right? Let them let them keep their stars, at least while they have them. I mean, this is a topic that we hit on a lot on the show is like the, the transaction stuff, the off court stuff. It's it's fun. It's a useful part of it, but it just the 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 amount of the oxygen it sucks up is just is, is too much and i understand it now i mean we're the off season like not a ton is happening i mean the the of the league's business there's a couple stalemates which we'll i'm sure we'll get to but i will say the one difference in this case versus a lot of the other star get traded is that this doesn't seem to be like an agent placement kind of thing this is like a guy on a podcast spouted off and now we're talking about it so you know Collect your engagement, Pasco. I mean, Eric, this is kind of up your alley as you've dealt with this for pretty much, you know, your entire career up in Milwaukee. So, I mean, look, it, Anthony Edwards is a, is a good player and potentially going to be a great player and maybe even an all-time great. You know, we'll see. It's very early. But, man, it really does rain on the parade of, of the fans in Minnesota and I think just people who like the NBA in general. I mean, you know, you guys know how I really feel about player movement and – now, I actually think it's really bad for the league in general, but I think that this sort of discourse in the media is also bad. I mean, not that our job is to make the league better or anything like that, but it's it's boring, plain and simple. It doesn't serve anything. Yeah, I mean, so obviously, like, this all started with Patrick Beverly on a podcast mentioning, like, oh, you know, Ant's not going to be there for that long or, you know, whatever he said. Eventually, he's going to go somewhere else or outgrow Minnesota or, or however it goes. And like, I guess my like from my perspective, obviously, I saw this happen with Giannis and, you know, I covered the whole Supermax extension the last time he signed it. And we're going to do it all over again here in a little while. And we'll talk about that later in the show. But like, I guess for me, like, can we just let Anthony Edwards be great first? Like that part hasn't even happened yet. Like that part, the part where he's a, an MVP candidate hasn't happened yet. I'm not that's not to take anything away from his playoff performance last year. It isn't to take anything away from what he's done at an incredibly young age. It's all been very good. He's not in the MVP conversation. Like we haven't even gotten to that point. Like typically we get we get there first and then we say like, "Oh yeah, you know, this guy could go to a bigger or better team or this other team could really use him to, you know, get over the top and win a title. Like he just signed his rookie extension. Like there's six. It's more not years. like this is Shea Gilgis Alexander who just made all NBA first team. Right. Correct. And it's and, leading team Canada, you know, to an inevitable clash. I'm assuming with team USA at some point uh, it, in the world cup. I mean, it's not it, they're right. They, he doesn't have that resume yet. And, and again, I'm not saying that he won't get there maybe as soon as next year. Like, I, I'm, I'm not trying to say any of that. But, like, you didn't even let Minnesota enjoy the idea of having a franchise player first. Like, they, they didn't even get to do that part. It was just like, well, they don't deserve this guy. Well, it not a bit early to say that? I mean, like, maybe it's just that the offseason has been kind of, you know, dull. 